Hi guys, welcome back to the herd with, or welcome if you're new around here. So what I'm doing today is I have got this tank here and I am going to spruce it up a little bit um, and make it into something special for a new group of fish which I have. These are the fish that I've really been wanting for quite a while. They're not particularly rare fish or anything like that but I have a little soft spot for them and the thing is about these fish is I felt really bad because the fish that I had, I only had one of this species. I did originally have two, but I lost one. If you regularly watch my videos, you will know exactly which species of fish I'm talking about. Um, it is obviously Lake Tanganyikan because I did go to a Lake Tanganyikan fish room too. If you haven't actually seen the video, please go check it out because it is an absolutely amazing fish room. Um, it belongs to James Sinnott and um, he's based in northeast of England, um, very close to where I'm from. I mean, these are some of the newer tanks that he's just put in when I went back. I actually filmed some of these ones. So these are some of the little nano tanks that he's put in. And I really love the background on this. It's one of those 3D ones and just how simple the, the landscape is of it. It's just a few rocks, substrate. Looks really nice. Yeah, so this is a look from the front. These are obviously work in progress, but they are really nice and if you look in this tank here you can actually see the blue zaire frontosa fry that was in the egg tumbler if you can remember in the last video that's those now how cute are those guys awesome little fish love a frontosa I'll just show you another view, a little pan round of his amazing fish room. I love all the greenery, greenery and the rocks. It's really naturalistic. And all of this framework that you can see, he's actually made himself and put together himself, which is pretty awesome. I know who I'll be calling on when I want some more racking made for my fish room. This is another tank that I really like the aesthetic of it with all of like the slate on the back. I tried this in me and Boona tank, um, but it didn't really suit them. I don't know. This this just looks really nice with the contrast of the shells and the slate. It's really nice to look at other people's tanks and get some ideas. So if you haven't already guessed, it is of course the daffodil culture fish. So very excited about those. I have a nice little group of those now. But in with that, I didn't really have a tank that I thought was gonna be suitable for them. So yeah, whilst I was there, um, I seen these particular tanks that you had for the shell dweller fish. So I spoke to James about it and he said he had the perfect tank for me, which I was over the moon with. I thought this is brilliant. So he's he has given me this tank it's, it's actually in really good shape as well um, it's just one of the ones that he um he's he upgraded so he's passed this along to me very grateful for and um i'm just just gonna give it a little bit of a spruce up because it has been sitting but yeah this is gonna be the perfect tank for these little shell dwelling fish so i'm very excited about this so i'm gonna spruce it up um i'll show you what i'm gonna do to it and then we'll put the fish in and see how they react to their, their new tank setup, which is going to be pretty fun. 
yeah so i've also got some gravel as well um which is pretty cool oh that's nice and cold that feels nice um yeah so i've got some gravel that i'm going to pop in there i wish i had more plants i do want to get some more plants because you can put plants in with shellies um but i don't have any more at the moment which which is a bit of a bummer um i didn't think about that oh shoot i should have thought about that I'm pretty bummed about that now never mind i can always go to the shop tomorrow and get some i'll just have to stick some artificial ones for now i've got plenty of those anyway um but that would be nice that'd be nice to put them in anyway so i'm just going to give the tank a bit of a clean up this is what it's looking like right now it's not too bad like i said um i'm just going to fill it up with a little bit of water that's all i'm putting in it and i'm just going to clean it with a sponge just to get any dirt or debris or anything that's left on it like you see it's been sitting for a little bit so i want to make sure that it's all nice and clean the lids that is actually on it i have took them off separately and i am going to scrape them because they do have a few hard water marks um so i'm going to do that separately but other than that it's not taking much to clean up stool he still is a little bit dirty but <laughs> it is in the fish room so what do you expect now this is the crushed coral i've got so this is the carob sea one and this is more like a chunkier consistency i would say this is probably about two and a half kilo i would guess i didn't actually measure it but i'm putting that in Now, when I'm looking at it from the side, I don't really think that's going to be high enough. So I think I'm going to put some more in. I do have another one. Yeah, because that's not that's not really the thickness that I want. I want a little bit, a little bit higher, especially if I'm going to put plants in. So this is another one I've got, but this is more like a grainier consistency. It's still the carob seed one but it is a little bit thinner i'm just gonna have to mix this up so it all blends in nicely but it gives it more of like a realistic texture i suppose like having the having the different textures of substrate like the wood in the wild i need to be really careful with the ph in this as well um just so that it doesn't drop too low so i am putting the crushed coral in there but i am going to have to keep a close eye on it i don't want it to drop down too low Especially with the way Jimmy keeps his water parameters, he keeps them very much like wild, so I do have to keep an eye on that. I'm just going to stick these artificial plants in for now until I can get some live ones. Just put a few rocks in. So this isn't exactly the way I'm going to have it, but it's going to do for now. Especially when I'm just putting these fish in because I do want them to have a few hiding places but I want to keep it open as well so they can explore just while they're getting used to their new surroundings. I'm not going to have any lights on this to start off with so I'm going to add them at a later date. Yeah so I'm just going to leave them with some natural light for now but yeah I'm really happy with how this has turned out and then once I get the live plants in it'll be a really nice little nano tank for them. So I finally got me a group of daffodils which I've been after for so long. Okay guys, so that is it for another video. Hopefully you enjoyed this kind of content. I would love it if you would subscribe and click the notification bell. Don't forget to like, thumbs up, all that jazz, and I'll catch you on my next one. Bye. So this week what I've got planned is let you know. What I've got a notification bell because it lets you know every time that I'm going to upload a video. I'm 
gonna upload a video it lets you know every time i upload a video 